will save Princess Yuki. Onimusha, released in 2001 by Capcom for the PlayStation 2. The samurai Samonosuke Akechi receives a letter from the young Princess Yuki. People around her castle have begun disappearing, and she begs for his aid. Samonosuke and his Kunoichi friend Kaide arrive at the castle and split ways in order to find Princess Yuki. But suddenly Samonosuke is attacked by a group of demons, and after a fierce battle, he is slain. He is soon revived by the clan of ogres who have been subverted by the demons. They offer him their powers, which he can use to defeat them and capture their souls. Samonosuke is then sent back, and his quest to defeat the demons and rescue Princess Yuki begins. Onimusha is a third-person survival horror action game where the player must fight enemies, find useful items, and improve their abilities to further access areas in and around the castle. In most survival horror games, the emphasis is on avoiding combat and conserving your items and ammunition. But in Onimusha, fighting is what you have to do to proceed. You'll notice some doors throughout the game that have these weird little orbs on them, sometimes in clusters of two or three. To open these doors, you need to upgrade your elemental orbs that you find throughout the game. One for lightning, one for fire, and one for wind. To upgrade these orbs, you need to capture the souls of the demons, which are done by defeating them in combat. Aside from the orbs, you can also upgrade the weapons you find, take any herbs that you find and upgrade them into medicines, and any arrows you find for your bow and upgrade them into fire arrows. Combat in Onimusha is pretty simple and very fluid. You attack with the square button, block with the L1 button, and the triangle button will activate any elemental attack your weapon has. You can also perform various alternate attacks. By holding up and pressing the attack button, you can do a forward stab. By holding down in the attack button, you can do a kick that knocks enemies over. And by standing over a downed enemy and pressing the attack button, you can do a finishing move. There's also a special instant kill attack that you can only do at the right time when the enemy is attacking you. It takes a lot of timing and precision to pull this move off, but if successful, it always yields a high soul bonus. As stated before, killing enemies yields souls. You press the circle button to suck these souls into your gauntlet. If you kill multiple enemies and suck all the souls in at once, you'll usually get a bonus to your meter. There are three different types of souls. The red souls, which add to your soul count, blue souls, which fill back up your magic meter, and yellow souls, which give you health back. Each weapon has its own unique elemental attack, which can be executed by pressing the triangle button. These are very, very useful, and some even have puzzle-solving purposes but they drain your magic meter, so use them sparingly. The graphics and character models in Onimusha are very, very well detailed. The pre-rendered backgrounds are very crisp and very sharp, and the character models move very fluidly. With the camera angle being fixed, it is sometimes hard to get a bead on the enemy you're attacking, but when you hold down the R1 button, Samonosuke automatically snaps to the nearest enemy, so you know where they're coming from. Combat in Onimusha doesn't even feel like a chore. It's fast, fun, and engaging, and always yields high rewards if done properly. The story is also fun and very entertaining, and some characters are even based off of real historical Japanese figures, such as Nobunaga Oda. Overall, Onimusha is a fantastic title for the PlayStation 2, and was a great example of what the PlayStation 2 was capable of in its early days. Sharp graphics, fast-paced combat, great story, and beautiful cutscenes make this a package worth picking up. It shouldn't be too expensive, as it is part of the PlayStation 2 Greatest Hits line. So if you come across a copy, do yourself a favor and pick it up and enjoy. Well everyone, that's going to be it for this episode of the 31 Games of Halloween. Please leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and please share with your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow on Day 24 of the 31 Games of Halloween. Have a good night. We have taken Lord Suruga's head! Ah!